Hi, I'm Jennifer, and you're watching the Corvette Channel. Thank you to the sponsors that are listed on the screen for sponsoring this episode of the Corvette Channel. Good morning, guys. We're back at Elite Audio and Tint, and we're getting ready to have the windows on the uh, the front windshields done on our both of the C7s. Uh, the guys over here are they just did such awesome work on on the original tint that we had done uh, last weekend, actually, and we just love it. So we we were talking to them about doing a uh, front windshield tint, and they have a 70% uh, uh, tint that will knock out almost all of the uh, all of the UV so um, and cuts down like all the heat and that type of stuff I can't remember what he said but it's uh, uh, it's a lot of heat that it gets rid of as well as uh, not tearing up your interior and yet you can still see out just like your regular window so we're not trying to go for the full dark tint deal on this uh, we just want to use it as a um, as a way of being able to keep the car cooler. So anyway, I'll have some more information about it once we get it all done. I'll uh, show you some some of it uh, being installed, and uh, that way you can uh, you can check it out. I'll put their information on the screen so you'll have it uh, if you happen to live in the Northern California area. I know there's a lot of tin shops around, guys. I know there is, but these guys have treated us like you know like kings. So, um, and that's, and they do a really, really good job. And I know with you guys having a Corvette, you want that. So, so anyway, I uh, just wanted to put that out there. So I'll put that information up on the screen. And uh, if you're in the area, check them out. So what they're doing here is they have to put a coating on the glass that they smear it on so in that way when they take the the tinting at first they put the the tint that's already pre-cut but they have to form it exactly to the windshield so they they put it on the outside of the windshield and they get it formed exactly the way it needs to be and this allows it to not stick to the glass and then after that they'll clean all this back off It always amazes me how these things just these things can just cut it right there, and you guys don't have to go through all the process of cutting it, of cutting it all. Yeah. Yeah. It was better like to high end cars like this. You know, you don't want to get anybody that doesn't know how to use a blade on it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's precision that way. Oh yeah, definitely. Actually, I think sometimes I can cut better patterns myself. But <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. So guys, he's heating the uh, heating the, the tent up to be able to shape it to get it the exact shape before he goes to put it inside the car. Now this is the crystal crystalline stuff mm -hmm. right yeah so this is the crystalline stuff which is uh, one step above the tint that we put on the sides in the back of the car um, but and he he showed me 
the difference in the thickness and how the, and how it feels. And you can definitely tell that this is a lot higher quality film. Um, the other stuff is really nice, but this is uh, this it explains why it can actually cut out almost all of the UV on the on the car. It's it's crazy. Um, but he's saying that uh, it takes a lot more, a little bit different way of being able to uh, shrink it, uh, to shrink it down. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's, it's it's 200 layers, right? Yeah, it's about 200 layers. Of yeah. So, I mean, when you feel it, you go 200 layers. There's no way in the world it's, it's got to be on the on the micro side of things. But um, but it definitely um, definitely looks cool. So now that he's got it pretty much shaped out, he's having to let it cool. A little bit different process than what they did last week on the side windows, because of the, the tint itself requires a little bit different way of treating it, like I was saying. So what they do is they, they can actually heat this up and then just go ahead and, and stick it on. Uh, with the front, they have to they heat it up, and then they'll get these, like, so you can see all these little baby pockets. That's what they call those, those little, I call them bubbles, they call them pockets. And what they'll do is they'll, he just heated it up, he just got a bunch of them out, and then instead of it just going straight on to try to squeegee it down, um, you can see there's some up over there, um, it naturally cools down on these, and then, then after that, they'll come back and they'll heat it up again, and they'll get the rest of these little pockets out, and then let it cool, then they'll be ready to be able to put it in the car. So she's all formed and ready to go now, huh? Yep. All right. Okay, that's where you had it. Outside, I trimmed it on the outside. Okay. So that's where the plotter, now the plotter trimmed all this other extra part from it. Right? Yep. Okay, so now this is the edge out here where the plotter did it, right? Yeah, where the plotter set everything. Very cool. Mm -hmm. So now it's set to the window. Look at that, we're getting our window cleaned. Wow, that's gonna be nice and clean. So guys, you can see here that we went with a 70% 70, um, 70 tint on, on this uh, the front windshield. And so it's not, it's not making it blacked out, as you can see. You can see through it still. But the biggest part of this whole thing that we were doing is, one, it will provide a little bit of extra tint, but it'll still be able to let us see at night. And But the biggest one of all of it is the fact that we're going to get that UV protection and the heat uh, being reduced so we don't have so much heat coming in through that windshield, which is the biggest port. You know, um, there's just so so much, uh, that windshield's pretty good size. And so, you, you know, it gets hot in the summertime. But we wanted to be able to have that. We wanted to be able to have the clarity um, at nighttime. So um, as you can see there, as he's, as he's putting it on now, you can see that we can still see through. But I'm going to back away here just for a minute, and you're going to be able to see what I'm talking about. You can see how the, the window still has the look of a tint on it. So it gives it, gives it that little bit more privacy. And when the, when the light isn't directly above it and the doors are closed, it closes off that light, and it really gives you the effect that it is tinted. But when you go look through it from the, in, from the inside out, 
it looks like you're just looking through your windshield like normal. So guys, take a look at that. He's all done, just wiping it down now. It just looks awesome. It's just enough tint to know there's a little bit of tint there, but yet it just looks nice. Very cool. Now, they've already cut the other windshield or the other, uh, the other tint for my car. So this one will be coming out of the shop here in a minute and then they'll roll mine into the shop and they'll get it on. <laughs> I get and I put the and I put the decal on the windshield you know um, and people give me shit they're like oh so you don't know what it is <laughs> yeah. no we're just making sure that you know what it is that's right uh, yeah. you know cause you'll know exactly what the hell passed you when <laughs> Take a look at that guys, didn't that look awesome? So guys, that's what it looks like when it's all finished. This is 70% on the front windshield. Looks awesome to me. So guys, I just want to introduce you to the manager of Elite Auto Intent. Uh, his name is Ifty, and um, I'm pronouncing that right, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, um, so you want to tell us a little bit about about your shop and what you offer, and go from there, so they yeah. they know what's what right. So well, he already said it. I mean, our shop's name is Elite Audio Intent. Uh, we do car audio, we do window tinting, we do LED lighting, uh, you name it, we do it. We uh, marine audio as well. Um, we were originally not going to. Uh, FD had talked to us in the very beginning about doing the front windshields. And I, again, Jennifer and I both, we didn't think that we would want to do that. And then he sat us in a car that actually already has it done. And we thought it was going to be really restrictive. Not at all. I mean, we can see out really, really well. But yet it just makes the windshield this look great yeah so um, but I have I've seen a lot of a lot of different shops like this before he's busy so uh, guys he's also going to be and I'll be posting this uh, I've I've uh, I've asked him a couple different times to see if he could give us uh, us Corvette uh, channel viewers uh, a discount um, and whether you're you know if you want to come down to his shop here in Elk Grove uh, great and he will give us a discount yeah, I, yeah go to, ahead and uh, just mention their channel and we'll give you guys 15% off um, you know and I mean that's awesome I appreciate it man I really do yeah hey, you, you guys will be happy guarantee it